Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Before we get into the video I'd like to say thanks to Leo Sheridan for suggesting a video about Nathan Jones. Jones was born on the 21st of August 1969 in Queensland, Australia. He's 6 foot 10 inches tall and at his peak in 1995 he weighed 162 kilograms or 357 pounds. Jones became one of Australia's most wanted after being involved in eight armed robberies between 1985 and 1987. He was arrested when he was 18 and sentenced to serve 16 years at Boggo Road Maximum Security Prison. He ended up serving seven years before being discharged at the age of 25. It's while in prison that Jones was introduced to the sport of powerlifting and started to use steroids. It's claimed that he set a junior deadlift record of 340 kilograms when he was 21 and a junior bench press record of 210 kilograms when he was 22. Numerous websites state that Jones was the national powerlifting champion of Australia, but I've been unable to find any evidence to corroborate this claim. Upon his release, Jones began competing in strongman contests. After winning the 1995 Australia's Strongest Man, he entered the World Strength Championships at Calendar Scotland, where he took first place top in a field that included the 1993 World Strongest Man Gary Taylor. The following weekend he competed in the World Muscle Power Championships that was held in Aberdeenshire, Scotland. This time Nathan finished in 5th out of 12 competitors behind winner Magnus Ver Magnussen. Jones next competed at the 1995 World Strongest Man. This contest would be the one that Jones would be infamously remembered for after he suffered a broken arm during an arm wrestling match against Magnus Samuelsson. Nathan returned to strongman competition in 1996, winning the World Strongman Challenge which qualified him to compete at that year's World Strongest Man, where he failed to make it through his heat after making a bad tactical error. I'm very strong on the log lift, so I doubt any of these guys will beat me tomorrow. Jones' tactical decision backfired when he failed to achieve enough points in the log press to make it through to the final. Jones' MMA career was made up of a single fight when he participated in the inaugural Pride Fighting Championships on the 1st of October 1997, losing by submission to a Japanese sumo wrestler in what Jones has since stated was a works fight. Nathan joined the World Wrestling All-Stars in 2001. He went on to win the World Heavyweight Championship on the 7th of April 2002, before losing the belt to Scott Steiner only five days later. After losing the title, Jones began performing as part of a tag team for Pro Wrestling 01 Max in June. He went on to sign a contract for WWE later that year, but initially was unable to enter the USA due to his criminal history. Jones eventually made his television debut on the 10th of April 2003 on an episode of Smackdown. However, his time with the WWE was short-lived, after he resigned just seven months later due to the heavy travel requirements. Following his resignation from the WWE, Jones focused on acting, landing his first appearance on the big screen in the 2004 epic Troy. But how strong was Nathan Jones? And to answer that, I'll compare his best claimed squat, bench press and deadlift to the over 700,000 powerlifters on powerlifting.org and feel to those lifts to match Nathan's age and body weight. We start with the squat, and during the 2018 interview with the Hannibal TV, for whom I've left a link in the description, Nathan made the following claim. I was never really good at squats. Um, uh, I, I could squat around about 300... And 20 to about. Although Nathan didn't mention equipment, it was probable that this lift was done with knee wraps, and if that were the case, a 320 kilogram or 705 pound squat would place him in the top 33.5% of male powerlifters in a super heavyweight class. We followed a squat with the deadlift, and during the same interview with the Hannibal TV, Nathan made the following claim. When I was getting into the power through about 25, I was pulling 375 deadlift. According to Open Powerlifting, as of today, a 375 kilogram or 827 pound raw deadlift would place Nathan in the top 3% of all powerlifters in his weight class. To complete the trio of powerlifting movements, we look at a bench press, for which Nathan claimed, I think I did a 350 once bench press, you know, without a pause. Yeah. Yeah. But I used to. Kilograms, right? Kilograms, yeah. 
did he just claim a 350 kilogram bench press? Yeah. I think I did a 350 once bench press, you know, without a pause. Yeah. Yeah. But I used to. Honestly, I don't know whether I misheard and Nathan actually said 315 kilograms, or if he had a brain fog and meant to say 250. I tried to contact Nathan for clarification, but never heard back. If he is claiming a 350 kilogram touch and go bench press, I'm calling BS. As of 1995, when he claimed to do this lift, the Raw Bench Press World Record was held by Ted RCD at 302.5 kilograms or 667 pounds. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions and Nathan was actually using a bench shirt. But even if that were the case, the world record at that time was still only 340 kilograms or 750 pounds by Anthony Clark, who infamously used a reverse grip that would later be banned. Unfortunately, due to the lack of legitimacy of the bench press, it would be pointless attempting to calculate Nathan's total or coefficient of strength. Finally, we look at the overhead press and in a Facebook post made in 2020, accompanied by this picture of him competing at the 1995 World Highland Games Championships, Nathan stated that he thought this was 220 kilograms. In reality, it was actually 180. Okay. In the same post, Nathan claimed that in training, he would do five reps of 180 kilograms. And if that were true, according to strength level, he would be placed in the top 0.5% of registered lifters of his age and weight. Nathan had a relatively short career in powerlifting, strongman and wrestling, before changing his focus to acting which seems the better decision for his future health and finances. However, the claims made about his bench press seem questionable, so please leave a comment below letting me know your opinion. I've left credits and Nathan's social media links in the description below so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally if you're thinking about getting your hormone levels checked and would like to help to support my channel, please see my affiliate links for Let's Get Checked in a pinned comment and description below. And use code UNIVERSE to get a 30% discount. Or alternatively you can still help by simply hitting like, sharing the video and if you haven't done so already by subscribing. Thank you.